Cabinet is going to be discussing the proposed savings of £18 million in the coming year, which will mean over the last three years we've saved £67 million. This means we really need to focus on our priorities to protect the vulnerable and support economic growth. Nevertheless, there are still considerable amounts of money to be spent. We are looking at proposals to spend £49 million on older people, £45 million on people with learning difficulties, and £35 million supporting children and families. Alongside that, there are one-off projects. We've got £139 million, and the biggest one of those is £15 million to extend the super-fast broadband network. Well, I guess there's a public perception out there that austerity is over and that um, things are on the up, um, but our funding is still being squeezed. That continues. Um, we've seen a £68 million reduction, that's around 34%, in our funding from central government, from Westminster, since 2011. Uh, that has mean, meant we've had to make some really tough decisions and difficult choices already, and I think we've proved that we can do that responsibly. We're considering an increase in council tax of 1.95%, which actually equates to 44p a week on a band D property. Um, we're doing that because of the continuing cuts to funding and the rising demands for services. Um, we have an ageing population across East Sussex. By 2020, we know that we're going to have an 11,000 extra over 65s, around 2,500 extra over 85s. So there is a proposal to raise council tax. Um, that gives us more control over our resources so that we can actually continue to run the services that matter. The proposals go to Cabinet for discussion, then on to full council where the full council will have a vote on the outcome.